fighting. I can't remember the old guy's name, fighting Paul. And do we, do they not have any training sessions where they like warm up and do, you know, the basic fundamental movements or is it just always be ready for death? Let's watch. Like, what is that? What? Like, his shield wasn't even on. His shield wasn't on. Can you imagine, like, telling the Duke, like, oh, uh, yeah, your son got, like, his hamstring cut with my sword because I threw it at him yeah. and I missed because I also wasn't warm. Actually, uh, I bet Gurney, Alec, I bet he warmed up outside. <laughs> he, like, like before going in the room, he's, like, doing squats and, like, lunges and, like, yeah. doing some jumping jacks, getting ready to fight. And Paul's in here getting coffee. He just, he just, he just woke up. It's just, yeah, I mean, this the, the, the teacher is an old guy, so he's got to warm up. He doesn't want to get That's injured. Right. If he That's wants right. to be ready, he's got to for death at all times. He's got to warm up. But even for young people in their 20s, you still have to warm up. You, people pull muscles all the time. Oh, yeah. Like, yep. if you pull a hammy, you're not going to be combat ready. That's worse. And even if you like, you're, like, you're young and you can just do it, just force it with your body, like scar tissue accumulates. Like That's you, right. You lose limber, limberity, limberness. You lose Limber. flexibility. Yeah. Like you, you're just gonna have a harder time as an adult, as like an older adult, surviving this stuff. That's right. So you gotta take care of your body. You can't be like diving into life and death battle during your morning coffee. You can't, you can't you, be doing do you, have to, do you have to always be ready for combat? For like, there's always life or death, and it's always life or death combat. Yeah. It doesn't even like light combat. Like no one's gonna beat you up and be like, like ah, prove my point. Like no, no, it's life or death all the time. Like how it's, do you how do you eat or yeah. poop? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you eat a funky burrito one day. And then you're on the the toilet with some bad diarrhea. I mean that like, ar that already might be a life and death. <laughs> and the teacher comes in, kicks the door in. He's like, "Be ready, be you're, ready." You're like spraying the walls with diarrhea. You're like, "I am not ready for this." <laughs> I'm not ready. You activate your shield, and it's yeah. like the spray is too much energy, so it gets reflected back in. Oh, it's like all accumulating and it's filling right. up your shield. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can we can we make some ground rules about the training, please? <laughs> oh, no. put a, put a, can we can we put a lock on this bathroom? I'm so tired of this. <laughs> yeah. it, can I, like, I got the keys. Yeah. <laughs> no. Always be ready. Assassins Always are everywhere. Be ready. They're in the walls. Actually, they are in the walls. Yeah, in the walls. We'll, we'll see that later. Yeah. Let's finish the fight. The slow blade penetrates the shield. Yep, that feels, like, the shield. that feels like basic knowledge at that point. What's, he's like every training <laughs> session. He's like, it penetrates the shield slowly. He's like, dude, I know. We've been doing this for 10 years. Dude, I know. But also the slow blade got through his shield. So apparently he didn't know how to defend it. He was not ready. That's that's true. Also, can you just can I just have two shields? <laughs> right? I'll double stack them? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just like a shield inside of a shield, like a Russian doll. Sure, right? Why are we single yeah. shielding? That's right. You could like layer shielding, do funky things with it. If you did funky shielding, when somebody thinks they need to go fast and then slow through, if you mess with the parameters, maybe the speeds all change and they hit a hit, they hit a wall when they're trying yeah. to penetrate. Yeah. Because you change the characteristics. Yeah. Then you want to randomize them so that yeah. anybody trying to penetrate, they can't use the same technique every time. That's right. The chaos has to be, your your fighting style has to be too chaotic. Chaotic, yeah. Make be non predictive. Oh gosh. So okay, okay. So Paul is learning from Gurney Alec Gurney yeah. Gurney something. He's learning how to fight in the Atreides fashion. But how yeah. good would the Atreides combat style fare against the Harkonnen? Because like they're really disparate forms of martial arts like their planets don't talk to each other like at least here in in earth we have like various types of martial arts and we have cross martial arts tournaments and so like they get to see each other right but this is like this is like truly cultures that have never interacted with their martial arts like gurney alec is very good at defending against paul's attacks because he knows what's in paul's mm -hmm. skill sets but if you're finding if you're fighting an effectively foreign or alien group how good can your martial arts combat be so I guess the question is, is this martial art like this very practical, you know, as soon as we get new information about the enemy's like skills and tactics, we immediately adapt? Or is it more like a ceremonial artistic martial arts 
where it's like we're going to form our style, but we're not really talking about combat here, or is it somewhere in between? If they're in like this like ceremonial battle style where they're not adapting, it could be quite dangerous. I mean, this is effectively a boxer versus a kickboxer. You're like, put your hands up, and then they come at you with a kick. You're like, what the heck? I didn't know that was coming. Yeah. Like, because like, boxing's what? a sport, and so right. you train Ceremonial. for boxing. It has rules, right? And so does kickboxing. Actually, there's no like nut shots. I don't think. Um, is there nut shots? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but there are rules. So if you're training for a specific set of rules and the other people don't follow it, you could be in serious trouble. So, yeah. So like MMA, MMA is like supposed to be the best martial arts form, like because it's like anything. But there's still rules. Like, yeah. Imagine if you're in an actual street fight and you're like. MMA rules, MMA rules, and then someone pulls out a knife. Like, Right. Yeah. They're going to probably win. And even if they you win, you're going to get sliced and diced. It's very dangerous. Right. And then the person's like, it's a knife fight rules, and the person pulls out a gun. Right. And you're like, person pulls out a gun, like, oh, it's a suicide vest rules. Beep, 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 boop. You're like, what the <laughs> heck? What the heck? We came in here with fists. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I Yeah, you can get blindsided by tactics and all kinds of stuff. All right. It's a good point. It's a good point. We'll see how effective their... Do we see combat? We'll see how effective their combat oh, is we upcoming. Do. <laughs> we do. Yeah. Yep. The entire planet sees combat and then they're gone. 